Welcome back, fight fans. In today's video. Just wow, right? Guys, what a night of fights. A new chapter in the heart of the UFC has been opened. Georgian fighters Marab Dawalish Wheely and Ilya Topuria have inscribed their names into MMA history, each delivering performances that shocked everyone. to ever do it let's keep it up now okay when that pound that pound for pound comes out on tuesday that needs to have his name in that top five i don't want to hear no shit. all right let's get it right he ko'd the best 45 pounder to ever do it hey marab the team's got a message for you baby <laughs> Their victories were not just wins, they were declarations that the era of Georgian fighters in the UFC had arrived. Today, together, they demolished two legends. Duwalas Wheelie bulldozed UFC legend Henry Cejudo and Ilya Topuria, well, he kept his promise and destroyed Alexander Volkanovsky. As you remember, there was a lot of talk before the fights. Ilya Topuria, the new Conor McGregor or the future meme hero. Or Tupuria goes all in, and Volkanovski in turn threatened to teach the young man a lesson in modesty. But as the new champion promised before the fight, a new era began. His era. The era of Ilya Topuria. And the second, the future UFC champion is already on his way. Now, no one is going to argue that Topuria's performance was truly impressive as he demonstrated his remarkable skill and tactical savvy against the legend Alexander Volkanovsky. Now, despite Volk's experience, Topuria stayed true to his aggressive style and, as promised, he knocked out the champion who had been the division's king for many years. Now, the fight began. Topuria took the center of the octagon while Volkanovsky started to feel out the situation with kicks at different levels. Ilya moved forward, made several combinations, but Volk still controlled the situation. It felt like the Georgian was collected, confident, and most importantly, not nervous. But he remembered his promise, a knockout in the first round. And so closer to the end of that first round, Topuria went on the attack. He delivered several accurate strikes engaging in the exchange, but did not cause any damage. However, credit must be given to Ilya as he clearly unnerved Volkanovsky. Now, at the beginning of the second round, there were a few more dangerous hits from Topuria while Volkanovski continued to predominantly work with his legs from a distance, but he also added a lot of nice jabs, which were very successful. However, that did not deter the Georgian. On the contrary, these jabs actually made him kind of angry. He caught me with a couple of punches, and he was like celebrating, like, ha ha ha. And I was like, now it's my turn, wait for that, wait for that. And at 1 minute and 30 seconds, Ilya Topuria caught the champion. Alex missed with a powerful punch, and then, well, he got caught. 
right in the chin. Now, Volkanovski had long reigned in the UFC featherweight division, but he could not handle the new contender. Elia Topuria is the new champion, and without a doubt, the new star of the UFC. Like I said, I, I bring the evolution of the mixed martial arts. The way I'm fighting, the skills I have inside the cage, it shows that if you want to be in, in this company for the next 10 years, you have to evolve a, a lot and you have to be a very complete fighter because the generation are changing, you know? It's not like before that just with one, one fight style you can fight in the UFC. Now you have to be a very complete fighter. You have to be good everywhere in the striking and the wrestling and the ground. So this is, I represent the evolution of the game. Volkanovski made a statement after the fight. He is not considering retirement and is counting on an immediate rematch with the new division champion. Moreover, he desires to have the rematch in Spain, where Topuria aims to hold a UFC event in Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, although Topuria himself desires a fight with Conor McGregor rather than a rematch. Thus, is Conor McGregor really going to become a reality? I highly doubt it. Dana White, he, maybe he'd won such a mega fight, but it's not going to happen. Conor will not want to get knocked out at San Diego Bernabeu Stadium. But will Volk get a rematch? He lost by knockout. Yes, he does deserve the rematch. Then this is another big risk. Another knockout like that, two in a row, and make it a third, it's going to end kind of badly. We are talking about a guy who's had two knockout losses in a row yep. like that. If I was in his corner, if I was on his team, I would say take time off. If we're go if you're gonna fight again at 35 years of age, one of the all-time greats, recover completely because we don't know whether he recovered completely from right. the Makachev fight. Right. But that, that is a real factor to consider because listen, of course, Volkanovski does he on paper deserve an immediate rematch? Yes, of course. He's one of the best we've ever seen, but does he really want to step back in there? Not of one, but now two stoppages in a row. As I said before, the mental aspect of it all is huge. Not only the physical aspect, getting stopped twice with the concussions in a row, that's dangerous. <laughs> so he's a, such a good person, you know, uh, and to be honest, at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give him the rematch because he's a good person, but at the same time, it's time to move on. It's time to clean up a little bit the division, you know? It's time for the new generation to, to have a new challenges, new faces. And I think I, I, will, I will be looking for that, but to be honest, my job is, it's to fight. Whoever they're gonna tell me I have to face and fight next, I will be there. So. so who will be fighting next with the new champion? Who would you like to see as Ilya Topuria's next opponent? Topuria also recently mocked Bantamweight champion Sean O'Malley, so let us remember that the American expressed a desire to move up to featherweight and fight Topuria. So what do you think? Would you like to see that fight? Go ahead and leave your thoughts down in the comments. This is all for today. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because it is very important to us. And thank you all in advance.